But first, it's Nikki with Watchdog. Thank you, Angelica. Now, they say your home is your castle, but if you're living in a regular house, chances are you won't have a moat to keep intruders out. Instead, you might want to buy a decent security system, but be careful because the T's and C's could be alarming. Home is where we feel the happiest. And so it's only natural to want to do everything you can to keep yours secure. But we've had reports that one security firm has been exploiting that desire and the good deals they promise can leave you feeling shortchanged. That company is Verishall. It claims to have the number one alarm system in Europe and nearly 5 million customers. In August last year, Roger asked Verishall about an alarm system for his home. It sent a sales rep round. Well, you're getting older now and we thought we ought to have some sort of security. What price were you quoted? Just over £1,300. There was a lot of phone calls to and in fro him to get some form of reduction and we ended up paying just shy of £600. So what did you think you'd agreed to? Well, all the equipment, the fitting of that equipment and the monitoring on a monthly basis of £45. This cost covers very sure's response if an alarm is activated. If I cancelled that monthly cost, I understood that it would become an alarm system only, no more monitoring. Right. After five months, Roger's bills for monitoring had increased to £55, so he decided to cancel that, keep the equipment and convert the alarm to a siren only, for which he thought he'd pay a £99 conversion fee. But they then said, no, 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 the items are not yours. All the cameras would cost an extra £90 each, and the alarms on the windows and doors would be another £10. Roger worked this out to be a total of £360. So what was that close to 600 quid for then, Roger? I believe it's the installation cost. £600 for an installation? That's unbelievable. I'm that disgusted with the company that I've told them to come and strip the lot out. Over the last year, we've received more complaints about Verishore than any other security alarm company. Common themes include that customers felt pressured into signing up, were led to believe they own the equipment, or that the terms and conditions were not shown and explained to them. So we wanted to see for ourselves exactly how their sales staff conduct themselves behind closed doors. We've invited a very sure sales rep to this house on the Lancashire coast. Hi! Hi! Hey. And we've asked Graham Dow, former director of the Association of Security Consultants, to review our footage. This sales rep says he's a team leader who has been with Verishaw for four years and he paints a terrifying picture of local crime. I go to many break-ins but it happened during the daytime and I went to one which is not far from here but um, where they broke, three guys broke in at 8 o'clock in the morning, they tied a couple up in the house, <gasps> they took cash and jewellery on the brand new car from the, from the drive um, but I go to like similar things like this all the time. Really? The average person is held hostage in their home. I've never seen it myself in 45 years in the industry. It's using fear to sell, which is banned in the industry. After showing us the kit he says will keep us safe, it was time to talk money. Normally, you'd be looking about £1,500. We've had an offer on a whole month, and it does finish on Sunday. So at the moment, um, this part here is at half price, um, so right. it's 50% off. The doorbell camera, we're going to give you that for free, and the installation is for free as well. Right. So all you pay is 476 That's the price for the equipment and the installation. I'm quite worried by the over 50% off price here yeah. because you can float any price uh, and say that this is the normal price and we're giving you a discount. And by saying you need to do it by Sunday, I find that to be part of pressure selling and not what I would expect. It certainly sounds like a good deal, but if we change our minds, what happens to the kit? You can cancel it any time, and if you want to keep the system, you can keep the system and use it as a bells on the system so you're not paying a monitoring cost as well. What do you take from that sales pitch? Well, he says that if you cancel, you can keep the equipment and it becomes yours afterwards. But very sure's terms and conditions not available on the company website at the time of this meeting say it's very sure that owns the equipment. They're totally different. You're not owning the equipment at any stage. It's misleading the customer. Very sure customers told us they were not given terms and conditions during sales meetings, but we want to give this rep another chance to hand them over. 
And there's nothing else I need, you know, that gives me kind of everything they need to know oh. about their contract and everything. Every information that you need to know is everything on here. No, it doesn't. He should have said, I have to make it very clear to you that this is a rental system and you're not buying the system. It's a disgrace to the industry. We asked Ferrishaw about the complaints from its customers and the comments made to us by its sales rep. It said that its customers are informed of the full terms and conditions multiple times during the sign-up process and that Roger received a copy by email after installation, but that it will now change how it explains the cancellation process and ensure a printed copy of the full T's and C's is given out at the quotation stage. Verishaw says it has addressed Roger's grievances and apologised and told us it takes complaints seriously, investigates them thoroughly and that it doesn't use pressure sales. Very sure, your sales reps promised to keep customers and their homes secure, but instead left many feeling even more vulnerable. It's time you lock the door on those sales tactics. At least then that's one less thing for your customers to worry about. Now, since we made that film, Very Sure has been back in touch with us to tell us that it has now fully resolved Roger's complaint. It also added that it's recently refreshed its training programme and that upon joining the company, all Very Sure sales staff must complete training. Now, if you need help sorting a problem, we are here. Get in touch with us all the usual ways, watchdog at bbc.co.uk or you can tweet us at bbcwatchdog. Yeah, 